Hi, my name is Heather Mackey. I am the owner of Rare Bird Medicine. And today we are talking about the subject, you are what you see. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> what does your world look like today? What do your eyes fall upon? What do they assess, judge, discern, categorize? What category is your ego placing your sights in? Because all of that is you. It's a mirror and a reflection of you. And here's why that's true. There is a huge misnomer that the average two-legged operates under in this realm. And that misnomer is that life is separate. I am separate from my four-leggeds. My, my cat is my cat. Heather Mackey is Heather Mackey. I am separate from the sky. It's up there. I'm down here. When we step into a paradigm called a dichotomy, you can refer to it as a polarity. You can refer to it as a duplicitous environment. <laughs> when we talk about duality, up, down, you, me, good, bad, right, wrong, over there, over here. When we speak into a paradigm of a space-time delusion, in which we experience the delusion of the past, the delusion of the future, even though experientially, truly, we are only ever in the now. Heather Mackey has never existed any place but now, but she has a memory of the past and a visioning of the future. So that's a time delusion. <laughs> and we can see the fallibility of time because we have to set our clocks forward and backwards, we have to jump forward on our calendars. We, you know, February sometimes gets an extra day. <laughs> Every system we use to measure time has to jump around because time is not real. And the, the system itself reflects its fallibility because it's a delusion to say that time is real. There's only ever now. So when we speak of space, what is spatially there? Am I here sending you a video and you're over there watching it? Well. There's a large field of emptiness, 99.999999994% emptiness, that everything is comprised of, and within that, there is energy. Which is, you know, energy and emptiness. That's it. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> so am I over here and you're over there? Or is just energy bouncing around in a field of emptiness? Is one thing bouncing around in a field of one thing? Right? So that's why I call it the space-time delusion. So if I am not spatially separate from you, if I am not time distanced from you, depending on what land you hail from, then I am you and you are me. So every body you see, every culture you come to know is you. If you have a problem with another culture, another variation of pigmentation, another way of being that you don't understand, then I recommend you get to know yourself better because you are all that you see. There is no separation. This misnomer we speak of is the idea, the false idea that, that most of mankind moves forward in is that I am separate from you. I'm separate from your musical taste. I'm separate from the way that you dress. I'm separate from your culture. I'm separate from your gender identification markers. I'm separate from your ideas and your politics. I'm separate from your philosophy. We are playing a separatist game in the space-time delusion. And that separatist game decrees that we go, ooh, I'm gonna play individual. Who am I? Who is Heather Mackey's flesh costume? And am I doing flesh costume? Yes. Is there relative truth to that? Yes. But I would say it's a holographic truth. Am I truly Heather Mackey? Yes, no, right? That's the, <laughs> that's the joy of a dichotomy. Everything is a hypocrisy because there's duality always present. So am I Heather Mackey? Yes, but also no, because no, I'm not. I'm energy bouncing around in a field of emptiness. So that painting, this couch, this pillow, these glasses, that cat, the people across the street, the people in a small hut in the center of Africa, you know what I mean? Some sky rise building, you know, in that same area of Africa, somebody doing a Muslim prayer five times today to the East. I am that, I am. 
there was a teaching I once received that was exactly that quote. It's not, I am that I am, I am that I am. It's I am that, comma, I am. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am you I am, I am the books in your room I am, I am the food in your fridge I am, I am all that has ever been, all that ever will be. The web of life cannot separate from thee. You can't break apart the web of life. In the Lakota tradition, Iktomi is a weaver. He's one of the trickster gods, much like Coyote, Raven, and Crow. And it is tricky. The web is tricky because the web of life, if we want to go scientific with it, uh, which many do, uh, I, you know, there's a lot of uh, atheism and agnosticism in the modern age. Uh, it's, you know, due to a lot of dogma being shoved down people's throats, which is maybe fair. But, but if you want to go scientific with it, Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So there's one web, web of life. That's called energy, bouncing around in an empty field. It cannot be created. I can't make it happen. It's already there. And I can't destroy it. I can't bunch that web up and throw it into the death sector of doesn't exist anymore. So if that is the case, then guess what? One thing is happening. The web of life, the energy, the field of life, the shakingness of life. So when we recognize that I am everything I see, here's why the golden rule is applicable to almost every religion, culture, philosophy, spiritual teacher out there. The golden rule states, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And here's why. Because they are you. They are you. And if, if you're experiencing judgment with something outside of you, that person should or should not be wearing a mask. That person should or should not be homeless. That person should or should not be in prison. Whatever your assessment is of how you feel the outer should reflect your inner, my recommendation is to become a knower. If, you, if you're going to have strong opinions on the homeless, my recommendation is go and meet a bunch of homeless people. Ask them their story. Ask them what causes them to be in that paradigm of experience, that aspect of you known as homeless person. <laughs> Get to know yourself in that body because this is just a flesh costume. This is not fundamentally all that I am. No, 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 honey. Heather is too complex <laughs> to fit just into a white lady's body. Mm -mm. I am everything I have ever witnessed. I'm every blade of grass that I've ever watched blow in the wind. I am the wind. I am the sky. And not I, Heather Mackey, ego identity matrix. The I am that I am. Life eternally unified. I am that I am. I am that I am. The life that is flowing through me as a gift, so long as I let it be and don't have my ego try to control the matrix of the flow, that <laughs> release and surrender control and ego matrix control that says, oh, I'm going to categorize everything and I'm going to, I'm going to steer the ship and blah, 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 blah. If I let go and let the flow of life come through me, and if I look around me without judgment and go, hmm, that's a very interesting mirror. That's a very interesting reflection of myself. Then I can come to a more peaceful state of mind, a more peaceful state of heart. I mean, you may ask yourself, what is the value in, in operating outside of the standard, which the standard operating system, if we treat humans like a computer, the standard operating system and model I see in most people's beings is I am this. I am a gang member. I am a corporate CEO. I am a man or woman. I am a they, gender queer. I am this culture. I am, and I am, right? Each thing becoming a more confined box to the matrix of your being. Are you a little box on a shelf? I mean, how limited would you have yourself be? How much would you take away from the you that you call me, right? So we start to, to peel back the walls. We start to open it up. We start to look without judgment and go, hmm, feels like I have a judgment here and I don't understand something. Let me try and understand it. Instead of being in judgment of heroin addicts, let me try to understand the matrix of what causes that. A lack of sense of community, a lack of sense of unconditional love as one is reared. 
if, if you have a judgment against somebody who is a wealthy CEO or you think like, you know, all white men are terrible people, you know, then let me peel back the layers, peel back the layers that causes me to be in a space of judgment with my brethren who is me. Why am I judging myself? Why am I judging myself? Why would I judge this paradigm, that paradigm, this paradigm, that paradigm? There are many things we may not understand. I, I, there are maybe some, but very few humans that walk these lands that truly come into being a knower of understanding it all. We barely understand ourselves. So the way we come to be a greater knower of ourself is to ask, ask the self, why is this in my mirror? And that used to frustrate me because I would say, you know, I've had a, and, and most of you can probably <laughs> relate to this. I would imagine all humans can. I've had a rough life. I've been through much strife and I, I've always wanted to be compassionate. And man, I've met some bullies. I've met some bullies. I've met some aggressive, emotionally aggressive, physically aggressive humans. And I'm not like that. I'm not physically aggressive. I'm not emotionally aggressive. First of all, that's not true. Okay. I've been on the earth 44 years. I've had some aggressive moments and all of you have, you've had some moment where you've had some violent thought towards the driver next to you. You know, we all, we hold everything within the matrix. So, so on, on a certain level, that's not true. And on another level, in order for you to understand that you're causing yourself to operate in a law of, I must be nice. I have to be nice all the time. People should be kind. You better be kind. How dare that person not be nice. Guess who's going to show up in your world? Bullies. Cause you know, who's going to make you question that show you the block you may have to the awareness of love's presence is a bully. A bully is going to have you look at it and go, Hey, is that true? Is that true that you have to be nice? I don't know if you've been at earth school long, but it is not true. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of not nicers here. And every single one of you that watches this video has had your not nice moment. So that's why we come back to a place of compassion, a place of understanding, a place of reverence, a place of wanting to know and, and see why that is a reflection of me. We are all murderers and we are all saints. We are all drug addicts and puritanical health freaks. You know what I mean? We are all of it. We are all of it. The only thing vast enough to hold everythingness, and that's another way to describe life, is nothingness. And that is factually, scientifically what's happening here. A field of emptiness has energy, which is everythingness, Everythingness is comprised of energy and energy is bouncing around in a field of nothingness. The only thing big enough to hold everythingness is nothingness. And that's exactly what's happening back of the picture that your eyes see. So the question is when you have an out picturing is why is this the perfect gift for me? How can this help me to remove a block to the awareness of love's presence? How is it that what that person's doing has caused me to get into judgment and have a block to the awareness of love's presence? Am I right? Do I know them? Do I understand what caused that paradigm to unfold before me? No, honey, half the time, no. That's, I gotta tell you, if I'm being honest with myself, no, I don't understand the complexity of your matrix. And fundamentally, you probably don't understand the complexity of mine because everythingness is a very complex metric matrix and that's what life is. So, if you are everything you see, my question to the self then is, do I have any judgments of what I'm looking at? Because if I do, I've judged me. So I will do unto others as I would have them do unto me. And if I have judged my brother, then I have attacked thee. I have attacked my own self. So that's where we come into a space of being given the opportunity to come into unification with the beautiful gift that is always present, the one undulating blob of life, the web of life called energy, which cannot be created nor destroyed. May you make peace with all that you be. May you remove, remove any judgment from anything you see. May you feel blessed with every breath and may you come into greater understanding of how glorious it is to be. So mode it be.